Hi, it's Sophie King Drunk here with yet another attempt to nail review. The one I'm going to review just now, yes, it's bargain basement time again. Got this in one of the budget supermarkets and it's a Courage Bitter and it's a 3.8 on the Richter scale for this one. Courage, I think they are makers, correct me not. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, directors, bitter. Is it directors? I remember tasting that years ago and it was really, really nice. And I watched, I think it was Beer Goggles, I reviewed it, or he was talking about it in one of his videos anyway. Do not drink this beer, and it's full of added whatnots and E numbers and all sorts of crap. I used to enjoy directors uh, many, many moons ago. Uh, I think he, he was the same as well and then they changed it or they done something to it. So anyway, Courage, I think they were the guys that made directors. So anyway, here we go, uh, we'll get it in for the pour. Pour is very, very thin. Pour down the middle of the glass, trying to get me head in it. Yes. Northerners, we like head on our beer. Just your typical Bog standard, uh, as I think they call it, brown ale one. Colour about it, kind of chestnut, kind of ruby chestnut maybe, I don't know. Nice little head sitting on there, quite like that. A little bit of carbonation going up there, I don't know if you can see it or not. So we're going here for the nose. As I said, I got it in a budget supermarket, it was a quid a bottle. Picked it up, I thought, got to have a go. So anyway, here we go, see what we've got. Well, I'm not really picking much nut in that nose at all. A slight smell of caramel. A little bit green. Grainy is like a, what would you say? Uh, like the only way to describe this, and it's going to sound corny, like wet tea, but uh, wet digestive biscuit kind of smell about it. Uh, not much happening on the nose, so it's all about the taste. Now I'll, I'll go in here and I'll have a go at this. Actually, it was Wells and Young, if I'm right. I'm, I'm nearly sure Wells and Young have got a hand in this somewhere. Uh, anyone knows, please, <coughs> please uh, let me know. There you go. I'll top it off. Get the full bottle in there. Now I've got a pint here. Actually, I picked up this wee uh, glass. This. Supposedly it's a pint turner, but that's how us people up here north, we get ripped off. If you give that to someone in England called it a pint, they would go off a nut. Uh, but look, look at that, it's almost a pint. Well, it's not, it's an optical illusion because it's obviously the made. We drink too much up here obviously, so they don't want to give us full pints. <laughs> so anyway, getting here for the taste of the, the courage, be courage Best Bitter and see what we can come up with. Well, it's everything I said on the nose. It's very, very slight trace of caramel. And I've got that uh, grainy digestive wet taste to it as well like uh, it's like someone who's opened a packet of uh, digestive biscuits and somebody's spilt water over them and then you've come along and you've ate one of them it's got that kind of taste to it as well very very thin uh, no wonder it's a quid a bottle I, it was actually I feel ripped off a quid a bottle she'd be selling that out she'd be knocking that out for 50 pence a bottle actually it's very, very thin. I don't think it's one of those ones that... Well, I might be wrong. But it might be one of those ones that you could go into your pub down somewhere down south and get a pint of Courage Bitter and it would taste okay. I think it would appeal mostly to the older set, like so your retired people out there who maybe put a wee, a wee, a wee dram on the side. Uh, I don't know. Like, are drams big down in England? I don't know. Up here, 
Like I say, if you give that here, some old boy who was sitting in the pub, a wee half pint of that, and these, these whiskies, these wee goldies, he would uh, quite easily sit that down with him. It's nice and light that way. It's This is definitely an old man's drink. Uh, no man could go out and have a, a few, four or five pints of that. Uh, that's a safe drink for someone, uh, maybe a more mature gentleman. If anyone watching this, I didn't want to be, <laughs> I didn't want to be rude. But as I said, it's it's one of those ones that likes a. If you saw it in the pub, I, I would even try that in a cask or tap or whatever way it comes, whatever form it comes. Very very poor, very thin. So as I said, it's I think it's Wells and Young. I'm going to put the eye furniture on here because I'm, I'm dying to know the director's uh, was a beer. What does it say? Balanced, multi flavoured with a distinctive hop y character. Take courage, best bitter. Crafted for over 200 years, great British brewing history. 3.8 in the Richter scale. Uh, what does it say? Ah, it, it says all the things that beer, uh, beer goggles hates. Water, barley, malt, sugar, hops, yeast, and then it's got colour, and then it's got E150C, a stabiliser E405, uh, an ingredient called uh, Acuia, whatever that is, and then it's got everything else written in foreign languages. Uh, drunk, <laughs> please enjoy responsibly. If anyone was going to get drunk in that, they need their head looked. So anyway... <laughs> The Courage Bitter, very, very uh, bargain basement. I was ripped off. I bought that in one of those uh, budget shops, as you do. Stuart Pickard, Ginger Hale <laughs> Trail. He knows the kind of shops uh, you can buy that out of. Uh, it's very, very poor. I paid a quid for that, and do I know something? I know sometimes when you buy a quid, it's a bit hit and miss, but I was definitely hit for a quid for that. If I was selling that, I think a fair price for that would have been about 50 pence, to be honest with you. So anyway, I'm going to give that, the Courage Better, uh, 3.8 on the Richter scale. And the worst score I've ever, Sofa King Drunk, has ever given a beer was 2 out of 10. And uh, I'm not going to give this 2 out of 10. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 10. Anything under 5 is something I will never revisit. Uh, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10 because I have never... Uh, I would actually say if it was a toss up between this and John Smith better, I would drink this. No, the John Smith, the, the creamy flow can. That's got more flavour and that's getting... In this review, it's got zero flavour. It's more interesting. So anyway, if you've had the Courage Best Bitter before, give us a shout. If you stuck along at the end of the video, Slangy Va, Sofa King Drunk, hopefully we'll see you in another video. Beer review even. Ciao for now.